Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Town of Salem guide video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to win as Executioner. Executioner, one of my favorite roles in Town of Salem. Also, I would argue one of my best roles. And if you're listening to my voice right now and you're saying to yourself, Man, Skim, you sound a little different. You sound a little off today. Yeah, I've been sick. I've been laid low by some sort of cold virus thing or another. Oh, it's going on like eight days now. <laughs> I'm miserable. But you know what? Uh, the show must go on. Show must go on. So we're going to go ahead and do ourselves some uh, Executioner Guide today because I've been playing so much Executioner. People seem to really like my Executioner style. Uh, I often try to get different X wins with different role claims because it's just more fun that way. And I think I'm pretty good at it. I'm I think I'm pretty good at neutral evils in, in general here. And so I wanted to share some advice from you guys. First of all, my main tip for winning as Executioner is mix up your claim. Don't only ever claim Sheriff X Werewolf, you know? It's boring for one, and for two, people assume you're an Executioner. You're a Sheriff. They show up as suspicious. They claim medium. Like, your Sheriff claim is no better than their medium claim. What might you want to do? Yeah, you might want to try a different claim. In the video that you're kind of be seeing in the background, actually, right now, I actually claim medium. I claim medium because I see a investigator dies night one, and they happen to have died investigating uh, my claim. So I, I figured, you know what? If there's another medium, I'm going to get called out on this, and it's going to be called BS. But if there's not another medium claim here, I can say that that... Uh, that that investigator checked my target. My target was Vigivet Mafioso, and I look completely good. Cause what execution is gonna claim medium, saying that the dead investigator said their target was at Vigivet Mafioso? You know what? It's a beautiful play. And so I've actually done that quite a few times with using um a medium claim with say like a dead a dead lookout or a dead investigator. Um, in order to try and boost my claim, uh, you're not showing. You're not gonna claim that. You're not gonna look as exy because you're gonna look more like you're a medium who's pulling off information from the dead chat. That's your job as a medium. It makes you look pretty good. And uh, there's no really good CCing to a medium that's done early on, unless there was medium, of course, in that first night's death night. Uh, you know, like um, night chat. So uh, it makes up your claim. You don't always have to claim executioner. You can claim investigator, lookout. I've gotten wins as a vigi claim as a veteran claim as X, uh, as an escort claim, as a transporter claim. There's so many different ways you can get wins that isn't just, I claim sheriff, this person's suspicious. It's like, okay, executioner. And then they forget about you. It happens even when you're a legitimate sheriff too. Nobody believes a sheriff X claim day one. So you might want to mix it up. Sometimes, yeah, the sheriff claim is going to pull it out for you. And sometimes it's not. Don't be afraid to try something new. And it's fun. And they seem to really work very well if you kind of just shade a little bit of what you're doing. Use available information to add credibility. Uh, what I'm kind of meaning by this is you can, as an example, make a claim such as a, um, a spy claim and then using the information from a previous spy's will in order to boost your own, make it look actually correct, and then have a person being visited and uh, not die or something like that. And so there's always a way of using information that is available to increase your credibility. Another example might be uh, if you are claiming lookout claim, you might want to steal somebody else's lookout results or somebody else's will results from night one, so, and then night two have, you know, catch your person in the act in order to kind of add on to credibility, make more hoops that town has to jump through before they figure out that you're just making all this up and it's total bull. Add a little bit of, cre uh, use available information to add Add a little bit of create, uh, credibility for yourself, and people don't want to look further than they have to. They want to get the quick lynch. They and especially evils, evils that are alive in your game want to push up somebody who is like who is not them, and and you know is is going to keep the pressure off of them. So you only have to convince a town or two at any one point to actually vote up your target. Use a little bit of available information, make it seem a little more credible, and you're going to get those votes a lot more often than you think. Here's one of my favorite ones though, number three, ask for a private claim first. I really enjoy this one and it gets me a lot of wins as Executioner. If I'm going to claim Lookout, if I'm going to claim Sheriff, or if I'm going to claim Investigator, I often will ask them for their claim in a uh, in a message, in a whisper first. Just be like, hey, I have a lead. Yeah, uh, claim to me right now. And if they refuse to, I make up, you know, Investigator, BGGFR, so they refuse to claim to me. Now they look suspicious. Because Town's been watching me whisper this person, and they say, okay, well, why haven't you claimed to them then? And it's like, well, because I'm not any of those things. I'm actually uh, an escort. It's like, eh, I don't know. I've gotten some really good pushes before that way because of 
town kind of wants to believe that you are trying your best and that you are a town and that you did find something useful. So give them the ability to believe that by asking for a claim in a whisper first. And sometimes, you know, I've had it pretty funny before. I've had it where um, I've asked for a claim night one and they claimed veteran. And I was like, well, maybe I don't out myself tonight. Uh, because if I out myself to right now and they claim veteran, I may very well be the one up on the stand. And so, you know, I keep my mouth shut. Sometimes asking for a private claim actually it can improve your claim as well. They may say that they're sh that they're spy. All right, well, now you claim that they are suspicious and you say, all right, listen, I'm sheriff. I found this person suspicious. They claim spy. I think they're BMer, you know? And then that's how you can kind of make your play to make to make it a little bit extra powerful when you're coming out with your your sheriff investor lookout claim asking for a private claim can be very powerful to give you that extra information number four don't give up i can't say how many times i've pulled off executioner wins you know and it, and it looks like oh there's no way i'm gonna get this win they're claiming retributionist so you know it doesn't matter the point i'm not okay that doesn't work when they're claiming retributionist now does it but for obvious reasons but you don't give up is the point you don't give up because there's always a chance of getting an executioner win. Sometimes all you got to do is you have to outlive the town. Sometimes your town member, your town target dies and you can get lynched even sometimes for free by mafia. It's not worth giving up as executioner. And that brings me up to the fifth, uh, you know, little rule, little get, tip guide for winning as executioner. And that's don't claim X to town. Why do people think that they can get away with this? I don't understand. It's like, oh, I'm just executioner. It's like, there's no reason for town not to X you. You know, if you're claiming executioner, if you're in, if I jail you and you claim executioner, you're being executed. I'm not going to let you go. There's no reason to let you go. You're evil. You could be lying about being ex. You could be a, a, you know, a werewolf. You could be something else. And there's no reason to leave you alive. I'm not going to let an executioner claim stay. Um, if I think they're a jester, maybe I'll, I'll jail an ex him or ask jailer to jail an ex or ask a veggie to shoot. But there's no way that claiming execution to town is going to get you your win. It's like, oh, well, I'll help you, town. You lynch my target? Nah, it's not going to happen, buddy. That's not a good way of playing a neutral evil role. You're going to lose more often than you win. I guess, you know, no harm, no foul. I didn't try hard, so I guess I don't mind losing that terribly. But no, no, that's not how you do it, guys. Mix up your claim, okay? Don't just claim executioner, claim some other stuff. There's some really fun, great claims out there. I'd like to get a claim with every single town claim as executioner one day. I think it's so much fun. Use the available information to add your credibility. Ask for a private claim first. Don't give up and never, ever claim executioner to town. Unless you've already won, of course, and you're just screwing with them. Then do whatever the heck you want, man, because that's part of the fun as well. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry, I'm not, again, I'm not sounding my top quality uh, voice right now. It's not ringing with the, the airs of many beautiful bells because I am I am sick as could be. Uh, hopefully you guys are in good health. Hopefully you enjoyed learning a little bit about some tips to winning as executioner. You'll see some more guides coming out for me as well in the future. Much love and peace out.